Hi, I'm Cherie, and this is my walkaway video. I noticed a shift in the Democrat Party after Barack Obama was elected president, and I voted for Barack. My twin sister and I were big Hillary fans, and we were very disappointed that she didn't win the Democrat nomination. Yet, there was this unknown, very charismatic African-American man that said all the right things. He would say that there aren't white Americans, black Americans, Hispanic Americans. He said, we are all Americans. And I believe that. And after eight years of George W. Bush, who I loathed, I was all for all that hope and change. I cried when Barack Obama was inaugurated. But it was very soon after that, after he was in the White House, that the red flags for me started to wave. And the first was that he wouldn't put his hand over his heart for the national anthem. Now my father was a gunny sergeant, paratrooper, in the Marine Corps and fought on the front lines in the Pacific in World War II. So we were so pro-veteran in our military. So that was the first slap in the face for me. It was a gut punch. And he went from us being all Americans to America being racist. I thought we just voted for the very first black president of the United States. How can you say that? Who are you? He started talking about how America wasn't exceptional. And his wife would turn around and say that this was the first time she'd ever been proud of America was because her husband was elected. And then he started telling the African American community that there was a boot on their neck. And that more than likely, it would be so hard for them to ever amount to anything. And I thought, how can, you're the president of the United States. You can't get any better than that, buddy. It was so disheartening, his rhetoric. And not only that, he was causing such divisiveness between Republicans and Democrats that I was noticing that Democrats were starting to really get down and dirty and nasty when they would talk to Republicans. I mean, nasty. And uh, it was such a shock to me because we had really been unified after 9-11. So I was telling my best friend about my grievances and he invited me to go to a black tie event in Simi Valley at the Ronald Reagan Library. But yet he said, that it was secret, that these were Republicans that didn't feel safe because they were big actors and businessmen in Hollywood and that their political ideology being Republican or conservative was an absolute bozo no-no in Hollywood. So I went to this event I was so intrigued and it was spectacular. These big actors, and I mean big, some I'd worked with. It was so loving and inclusive, but the real stars that night were our active military and our beloved veterans. The host that night was Gary Sinise and he hosted many of these events. Gary is a, is a saint. And yet he felt that this group of Republicans had to stay anonymous for their careers, for their livelihoods. It was a shock to me. But the way they treated our veterans and our active military was beyond anything you would ever see. They honored them. 
and a lot of these veterans were maimed. And I thought, what does the Democrat Party do for veterans? A big fat zero is what they do. They talk about how they're for the common man and therefore they're for immigrants and they're gonna riot, raise everybody up, but really what they do is they shove them down, especially our veterans, and that is a sin. So that opened my eyes and I started looking into this Democrat party that I was a part of, and I wrote some things down because I'd been so disturbed by not only the way we were treating each other, driven by the Democrat Party, that I started taking notes. And what I found since Barack Obama took office in this new Democrat Party, what they've become, what they're for, what they stand for, what they're against, is that they're anti-American, anti-citizen, anti-border, anti-veteran, anti-law enforcement, anti-military, anti-vice, anti-gun ownership. They are anti-small business, anti-home ownership, and they are anti-family. If you don't follow the, this transgender ideology and your child is indoctrinated into this cult, they'll come and take your kids, take your kids. I asked myself, what are they for? And they are pro-socialism, pro-communism, pro-illegal immigrant above the citizens. They're pro-criminal and victims are just an inconvenient afterthought. They're for zero bail for repeat offenders. And California is a war zone. I mean, we are overrun with criminals and uh, we're brimming with homeless encampments. I mean, you can't go a block without seeing a tent, but I think their most artful, disgusting thing that the Democrat party has done is they've artfully made people anti-white. Also, what they supported, the Democrat party, was the BLM riots in Antifa. And I'll never forget seeing Kamala Harris on Stephen Colbert, and he was concerned. It'd been a couple of years of these devastating riots and cities being destroyed and towns burned to the ground. And he asked them, you know, what's gonna happen? Shouldn't they stop? And she goes, oh, oh, they, they're not gonna stop. They shouldn't stop. And I was infuriated with her. So when January 6th happened, I understood why. They had kept us in fear for years of riots and, uh, uh, and, and murder. So when January 6th happened, I thought, good, you get a taste of what you've been forcing us to live with for these last couple of years. I mean, I wanted them to taste it. The terrible thing is that with this new Democrat party, you know, what's wrong is right. And what is evil is good. And Rob Reiner went on X and he said, you know, Joe Biden, he's brought decency back to the White House. And I thought, decency? Are you kidding me? They shot gay porn on the floor of the Senate, cocaine found in the White House. I mean, they hired trans, transsexual tra cross-dressers in high positions that would go in all decked out with their lipstick and then they would basically spit in the face of every American that just found it to be a circus show. It was, it was like they were completely disrespecting the office of the presidency, the administration, and the United States of America. 
So I am walking away and I'm asking you to walk away too. Walk away from the deceit, from the censorship, from the intimidation and the radicalism, from the racism. The Democrat party is now the party of chaos and divisiveness. And Brandon, I wanna thank you for giving people like me the strength to stand up and say it out loud. I am Cherie Curry from the 1970s all-girl teenage rock band, The Runaways. And I am walking away. And you can too. God bless the United States of America. God bless our military and our veterans. God bless you and Brandon. God bless you, baby. You are loved. For more great videos, download the Walkaway Social app at walkawaysocial.com. Share your testimonial and join our community.